Hey everyone, how's it going? So in this video, I want to talk about the HEPA filter and the biodefense mode that the Tesla Model Y has and the Tesla Model 3 does not have. So we will be swapping out the cabin filter as well in the Model Y. Now you're asking, why do I need to switch out the cabin filter? Whether it's been nine months or you've driven it for 10, 15,000 miles, you should be replacing it with a new one. At least every six to nine months, or a year at a stretch if you don't drive the vehicle often. We will be replacing it with a Teme product. So Teme actually sells this carbon slash HEPA filter. A lot of you are wondering, well, that won't that impact the airflow? With this new design from Teme, they are certified HEPA filter N98 with carbon activated particles. So there's multiple layers of protection here. However, the design of this filter is actually more efficient. It allows more airflow than your traditional air filter that came with the car. And we'll be showing you how it looks like and also the certification tickets that come with this. Teme is a company that also sells other items which we'll review in future videos. Um, blackout of your windows for camp and also if you want some privacy, it also prevents heat from entering your vehicle if you're parking outside for a long duration. In addition, they have foam mounts and other accessories. So with this HEPA slash carbon filter, you do have instruction guide, of course. But the key here is the certification that comes with it. So this is a certified product and it has been tested, sign off to be a HEPA graded N98 with carbon filtration. So you have the certificate that proves it's been certified. Some of the other HEPA filter, they claim HEPA, but I'm not sure if they're actually true HEPA because there's no certification that comes with it. And you can just tell the quality of this filter itself. It's sealed up, packaged very nicely. Here's the carbon uh, filtration. So you have the activated carbon there. And here is your HEPA filter graded filter. And it does feel like the HEPA graded filter inside the Tesla front that I just took out the other day for the battery swap, the 12 volt battery swap. It comes with two because your Tesla model Y and 3 does require 2 is interchangeable with 3 and Y, despite if you have the HEPA filter or not in the Y. You have pry tools and a helix wrench. Okay, so we'll be swapping this out. In the Model Y, it's very similar to the Model 3. You remove the carpet, open up the panels here, lower it down, unplug the lights and the speaker, and then you just pry the right panel there open and the filter should be located up there with the helix screw. You just unbolt the, the, the cover, take out the old filter. Uh, you will insert it in the same manner. You take it out, close it in reverse order. Should take no longer than 10 minutes. Tesla does charge about 140, 150 to change out filter, but just for the regular filter, not a HEPA graded. We were holding back on changing the HEPA in the Y because it always had the HEPA filter in the front due to the biodefense mode now come with the Model Y. But this actually increased airflow, but we, what we want is the carbon filtration. So if you're driving through an environment where there's poisonous gas outside, uh, you can turn this on or when you're recirculating air, air doesn't actually go through the actual air from the HEPA filter in the front. It's circulating air from the inside and um, it will go through these filters, okay? So that's another reason. So when you're circling the air, you're not activating the HEPA filter in the front, you're activating the cabin filter. So this will be a great additional barrier in addition to the biodefense mode. Okay, so to change the cabin filter in your Model Y or 3, it's fairly easy. Move the seat back all the way for the passenger side. And the Y is slightly easier because it's raised, so you can just kneel down. The three is a little lower, so typically I would lay upside down and it's easier on your back. What you need is obviously the HEPA filter. I'll post a link where you can find a uh, Teme product. We do have a promo code with them as well. A flashlight will be helpful, not needed. Pry tool comes with the Teme 
as well as all the ranch and stuff. So you really don't need anything other than a flashlight as optional. I'm gonna take out this floor mat. Okay, next you wanna take out these clips underneath the cover. So right underneath where the legs are uh, normally placed. And then you pull this out with the pry tool. There's four clips, one on the left and three on the right. And then this should just come off. And then from the corner of the side center console, you pull from the top here, which I find easiest. And you really don't need a pry tool. You can just use your fingers and it should come right off. So there's your cabin filter. They actually reroute the 12 volt battery from the main pack somewhere else. It's, it's no longer here. There used to be a wire that runs across here that blocks up that center council air vent uh, filter. So it's nice that they actually move that now. So you don't have to deal with that high volt power. It's really 12 volt being sent to your 12 volt battery. Um, so nothing to worry about. And then it's the, the last cover here and they actually moved the hex a screw on the bottom here instead of on the top it was so awkward i don't know why they did it before on the three and the y uh, but it was on the top so they reversed that and then the helix the tools that come with this kit okay And then you can just unbolt it with your fingers. Make sure you don't lose this screw. And there's your filter. Grab it from the top tap. There it is. No carbon, not a HEPA. And apparently with this Teme filter, uh, the airflow is about three to four times more efficient. So you get more airflow, less stress on the system. Here's the Teme, so we'll insert it in the same way. And here's the Teme filter, and this is three times more efficient. These are HEPA graded certified as well as carbon uh, filter. So any, any bad gases will be filtered and absorbed by these carbon particles. So let's go ahead and open up this package. Okay, and the carbon side is actually the one that faces the interior of the vehicle and the HEPA is the one that faces the exterior or the front of the vehicle. Sure the, the tap is facing the right side so you can remove it later. And that's it. Now just place all the covers back, all the panels back. And to put the center console panel back, I like to start from the lower left, just the reverse of how I took it out. So lower left to the top left, obviously. Don't slam this or else you're gonna break some clip. Just gently push in with a little pressure. That's it. And now this one, once you plug the light back in, you can just slide the panel in. There is a slot right here. Make sure you put that groove in right where it's supposed to be. And it should slide right in. You're done.